the following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE United States Championship. But as for tonight here in San Diego, it is main event time for the United States Championship. This man took down the Nigerian giant Omar seven nights ago and the one and only Ricochet marches into San Diego tonight with the United States Championship aspirations. You know, the one and only is gonna be a member of the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament, his first round bout coming up in a matter of weeks, but tonight he focuses on the United States Championship no longer held by the ring general Guther, but now around the waist of the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. Ricochet has been climbing the mountain here on SmackDown this time last year was in the midst of a six month reign with the Cruiserweight Championship. Earlier this year, we have seen Ricochet as one half of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic winners at WrestleMania alongside Mustafa Ali held the World Tag Team titles with Ali as well. And last month, we saw the, the Human Highlight Reel as one of the SmackDown participants in the Money in the Bank ladder matchup. But tonight, Ricochet certainly meets the biggest opportunity in some time as he looks to take down the brand new champion of Friday nights in the American Nightmare. However, Cody Rhodes went down a long, hard road to try to finally take down the ring general Guther. And this past Sunday night at SummerSlam, undesirable became undeniable, and Cody Rhodes became United States Champion. And I'm sure the American Nightmare, with all the respect in the world for Ricochet, is not looking to let up his grasp on the gold anytime soon. Cody Rhodes looks locked and loaded tonight after a war just a few days ago in Levi Stadium. And what a match it was, quite possibly one of the matches of the year against Guther. And Cody Rhodes survived it all. Last Symphony, chokehold, submission, power bomb that he got stacked up right to the pinfall and Cody Rhodes kicked out at one. And it may have took everything in the tank for the American Nightmare to survive a formerly undefeated opponent in the ring general Guther. But everything Cody threw at Guther this past Sunday night followed up with not one but two crossroads was the recipe for success and Cody Rhodes leaving San Francisco with the red, white, blue and gold that is now wrapped around his waist. Cody Rhodes, if there's one thing we know about this man is that he is going to be a fighting champion. Just days after taking down Guther, he is back between the ropes, set to defend that beautiful United States gold. Big time man event here in San Diego. Let's send things down to the ring for your official match introductions. Introducing the challenger from Paducah, Kentucky. Weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! And his opponent, from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the WWE United States Champion, the American Nightmare, Cody! Cody Rhodes taking a gaze at the gold that he won this past Sunday, but is he about to hand it over for the first and final time in this United States Championship reign? The first defense in said reign, but there's the one and only Ricochet who is appropriately dressed in the red, red, white, and blue tonight. But will he be leaving with gold wrapped around his waist? That is the question we are about to find an answer to. And there's your main event here on Friday Night SmackDown, the human highlight reel, Ricochet, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. The bell has sounded, and we are underway, and Cody Rhodes has his foot on the gas pedal since the opening bell. Immediately coming out hot, disaster kick on Ricochet, but the one and only is going to give Cody the fight of his life, that's for damn sure. 
early cover by Ricochet and only a one. Tons of respect between these two phenomenal competitors, but when the gold's on the line, you know they are going to hold nothing back as Cody gets set over the top rope. And Ricochet can already be thinking about going where he's most comfortable. That, of course, is high in the sky. Corkscrew to the outside. There is a reason they call Ricochet the human highlight reel, a one and only superstar. It is because of maneuvers like that and so many more. That is what has brought Ricochet so much success in just the last 12 months alone. But will tonight be the night that Ricochet adds a new championship to his list of accolades, a title he has held before, looking for a brand new reign in the United States Championship. Cody took his eye off the ball. Ricochet looking to steal the victory and only a one count. I think Ricochet trying to get in the mind of Cody with these early pinfalls. No, he's not going to keep down the American Nightmare. But certainly trying to get into the wherewithal of Cody here. And you got to wonder what the condition is of Cody Rhodes coming into this match tonight. As we mentioned, a man who will certainly be a fighting champion. But there's no way Cody is walking into San Diego tonight. Just days removed from a war in San Francisco with the ring general Gunther. All remains to be seen how that matchup back at SummerSlam is going to affect Cody tonight. And as for Ricochet, as we mentioned just seven nights ago here on SmackDown in Sacramento, Ricochet went one-on-one -on -one with the Nigerian giant Omos. He may have outlasted the bigger, stronger competitor, but at what cost? All remains to be seen. At the end of the day, these two men gonna keep fighting until they hear a bell and until somebody leaves San Diego with the United States Championship. Face first off the canvas goes Ricochet and another one count there seems to be the theme of the matchup thus far. Cody heading to the top, looks for the elbow but nobody home. Ricochet telling Cody not to bring a knife to a gunfight. Don't try to outsmart me in my strong suit of high risk maneuvers. Now Ricochet hanging up Cody on the top. Now again, going where he's most comfortable, but not enough as Cody meets him there. Or I should say meets him to the finish line, beats him to the finish line, knocks Ricochet off the top and delivers a classic Cody knee. Cody's best situation in this matchup, maybe to ground the one and only. We've already seen Ricochet try to take things to the air on numerous occasions. Cody has as well, but Cody's best strategy may be to ground the challenger, slow down the pace, and just try to out-wrestle Ricochet here tonight. All remains to be seen what the American Nightmare is going to bring to the table. Cody has been on a roll over the last several weeks here on SmackDown. Remember how Cody became the number one contender and earned that matchup with Guther at SummerSlam. It was in a fatal five-way matchup, elimination style, where he eliminated every single person in that match, which featured Robert Roode, Dolph Ziggler, Mustafa Ali, and Braun Breaker. Cody beat them all on one night, and then went on to beat Gunther this past Sunday. Nice reversal by Ricochet there off the kick. Sends Cody into the ropes, pops Cody up. Great strength by the one and only. German into the bridge, and only a one count again. Ricochet has not gotten the same amount of offense as Cody has dished to him, but now starting to take a toll, if you will. Cody to the outside, and Ricochet goes to the air. There is no running from a man who will jump from pillar to post to deliver the punishment. And now sending the champion back inside the ring where he can try to gain the one, two, and the three. And a crossbody from the top. Great maneuver by Ricochet. And elects for the pinfall here. But again, only a one count. Ricochet's going for a lot of pinfalls in this match, trying to catch Cody off guard. Get into the mindset of the American Nightmare, as we talked about earlier. But Ricochet has got to deal some more punishment to keep down a man with a dream tonight. Classic moonsault out of the arsenal. And again, the pinfall. And only a two. At least got the two that time. One step closer to the three count. Off the ropes and the Pele. Ricochet giving us a greatest hits of the one and only in this matchup. In an attempt to dethrone the American Nightmare. Cody off the reversal. Again, takes Ricochet off his feet, trying to ground the challenger. 
goes for the cover himself. And no way he was going to keep down Ricochet for three off that simple reversal. All the matchup thus far in your main event in San Diego. Meanwhile, Cody Rhodes, Verna Breaker, and that may do it. Cody has won matches in the past with that maneuver, but it won't do it for him tonight as Ricochet gets the shoulder up and Cody's in disbelief. Ricochet now is the one on the run, and Cody is the one taking things in the air. A little bit off balance, but nonetheless, the delivery was there off the dive to the outside. And now Cody Rhodes starting to rally San Diego. Pachanga Arena that's been sold out for weeks in favor of the American Nightmare, at least for the current moment. Ricochet's got to get to his feet. Cody on his tail at ringside. Now making Ricochet eat the floor of the arena for dinner. And Cody may be trying to break things down into a brawl. That's at least what we are seeing right now as the fight continues on the outskirts of the squared circle. Cody could have been going for a DDT on the outside here. Ricochet trying to avoid disaster. But Cody not going to allow Ricochet to take back the momentum. Cody Rhodes realizes he's got to change up the arsenal. Ricochet bringing something different to the table tonight that Cody has not dealt with in recent memory. And now Ricochet to the outside with the cross body off the top rope. So impressive by the one and only to dive over the ring post. Make sure he doesn't land on the steel steps, but only on the heart and soul of the American Nightmare. And back inside the squared circle we go. Ricochet misses for the forearm, but does not miss off that chest to the chest. And now into the corner and delivers the drop kick. Shooting star into the cover. We're going to have a new chip beam but only a one. Ricochet and Cody Rhodes tearing down the house here in San Diego, California tonight. Who is going to leave the United States champion on Friday Night SmackDown? Cody down, but is Cody out as Ricochet scales the ropes? He'll be going for a Alexa Phoenix splash, and he delivers it to the lower back. And Cody, who's not coming into this match 100%, has got to be feeling it, but he still has enough heart to get the shoulder off the canvas. What a maneuver by Ricochet, but unfortunately not enough to win the gold. Cody in the corner, and Ricochet just trying to keep his foot on the gas for the American Nightmare, trying to avoid disaster. However, Ricochet's still swinging for the fences. A reversal by Cody. Cody goes behind, crossroads! Dead center of the canvas, and into the cover. And the United States Championship remains with the American Nightmare. Nothing to be ashamed of in defeat. Ricochet brought it to the dance tonight, but in the end, Cody Rhodes was simply the better man and simply the one true United States Champion here on Friday Night SmackDown. Here is your winner, and still, WWE United States Champion. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Braun Breaker. Braun Breaker from behind, ambushing Cody Rhodes. Well, the man who defeated Dolph Ziggler inside the steel cage last week in Sacramento is here tonight in San Diego and just blasted Cody with his own damn piece of hardware. Coming your way on Saturday night, April the 13th. Witness the aftermath of WrestleMania as the superstars of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown head to San Juan, Puerto Rico for the 2024 Backlash. This international live premiere event streams live at 5 p.m. Eastern time on Saturday night, April the 13th. And as a new season approaches, what will these superstars have in store? You haven't seen anything yet, and nothing can prepare you for the backlash.